everybody welcome back it's me Amanda thank you so much for watching today today's cauldron fate video is drum roll please book review Pippi Longstocking all right book review wait great I fell in love with Pippi in college let me explain First of all, if you've never heard of Pippi Longstocking, that's okay. It was originally published in Sweden in 1945. That's probably why you've never heard of it. There are three books, Pippi Longstocking, Pippi Longstocking Goes on Board, and Pippi Longstocking of the South Seas. They're, they were writ written by Astrid Lindgren, and according to Wikipedia, the audience is ages 6 to 10. The books were made into a TV show and movies in the late 60s and early 70s. There was a remake in 1988 and an animated movie in 1997. For those who have never read it or heard of it, it's about Pippi, who is a red-headed girl and raised on a pirate ship. You look real close, you can see the pirate ship right there. Her dad was the captain of the ship. One day, he was blown overboard. And because of that, I guess, the crew kicked Pippi off the boat. So she, she, her horse, and her monkey, Mr. Nielsen, pack up her suitcase full of gold coins, and they go to her house, Here's their house right there, named Villa Villa Cola. The kids next door come over to meet her, and adventures ensue. The whole plot is simply contrasting Pippi's unorthodox ways next to polite society. She has no manners, no education, and she has a very sloppy appearance with mismatched mix mis mismatched stockings, oversized shoes, and pigtails that stick straight out. Pippi makes up lies about countries she may have gone to, but we don't know for sure, and simply refuses to listen to adults about anything. I first read Pippi in, when I was in 6th grade. I remember how I could actually follow the story, which, with undiagnosed dyslexia, is not always a given. I liked it. I just remember her going to the circus. Then I didn't think about it at all until I was in college and completely obsessed with Gilmore Girls. And if you're a die-hard Gilmore Girl fan like me, you'll know that in Season 5, there was an episode called We Got Us a Pippi Virgin. In it, Lorelai, Rory, Dean, and Luke all go to the Black and White and Red movie theater, and they were going to watch Cool Hand Luke, but a fire destroyed the first reel of the movie, so they chose to watch The Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. Come to find out, Pippi is one of Rory and Lorelai's favorite movies of all time. Dean confesses he's seen it at least three times with them. So they watch it. And it has the cutest theme song in the whole world. I decided I had to find this movie and learn the theme song. And I did. I went to Blockbuster Video because I'm old. And they actually had a copy of the 1969 Swedish movie dubbed in English, just like the one in Gilmore Girls. I could not believe it. And I was able to learn the theme song. Everybody sing it with me. Freckles on her nose, diddle diddle dee, a girl came riding into town one day. Diddle diddle, she is quite a sight. It's Pippi Longstocking, ting ho ho ha he ha ha. It's Pippi Longstocking, there's no one like her. 
my best friend at the time even made me a CD with the Pippi Longstocking theme in German. I think that was the only MP3 she could find. So I learned to sing it in German too. I'll link everything for you in the description so you can sing along. Ready? Let's go! Hey, pip me long, strong, jelly, tally, tally, star, star. Hey, pip me long, strong, master, eat it, Yay! Okay, so fast forward to this year, 2023, when I decided I was going to read all of my children's fiction that I own that I haven't read yet. And one of them happened to be Pippi Goes On Board. Side note, by the way, most terrifying cover pick ever. I mean, really, just the stuff of nightmares. But it's a sequel, so I checked out the first Pippi Longstocking from the library and read it first. I read it, then I read Goes On Board. And this is what I wrote about Pippi in my journal on March the 29th, 2023. I think it says it all. I've about decided Pippi is stupid. She is not a role model I want my girls to emulate. She's dumb. She lies. She does dangerous things like mix medicines together and eats them all in one hit. This is not who I want my girls to look up to. She's a tragedy. No parents, no school, no manners. Also, no consequences for her actions. Just a feral child. Scary. I have Goes On Board, and I have the cartoon movie that sings, which I will watch once I'm done with the book, but I don't like Pippi anymore. I understand that Pippi is the embodiment of the fantasy, what if a child was in charge? No parents, no school, no bedtime, sure. But that doesn't explain away her character flaws. She also sasses every adult. She has horrible literal logic that only makes sense in Pippi's brain. I don't like her. It's disappointing because I loved Pippi before this. It's like, don't meet your heroes. Like when I read the American Girl doll books, yikes. I still like Pippi, but not in the same way. She's more of a cautionary tale now. Like, if you don't go to school, you'll be stupid like Pippi. The anti role model, you might say. Still fun, but not someone to aspire to. But don't take my word for it. Read it and see for yourself. I will say that the 1969 movie is very true to the books, and so is the animated movie, only it has more songs. I think the movies and I think the movies make the adults more like villains than the books do, but other than that, they're pretty accurate. So if you guys are interested, check out the links in the description. I've even made a Pippi playlist with all the videos for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to listen to God and do what he says. And I will see you again in the next video. Have a Pippi-tastic day. I gotta go put my horse on the porch. See ya.